Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the biggest fellowship on the planet, and it is the fellowship of songs dubbed White Christmas by Gramophone Ghana. My name is Atwabas, and it's such a pleasure to be here with you at the Legon Interdenominational Church, uh, where all of this action will be taking place. There is more information I'll be providing you, but before that, ladies and gentlemen, please, let's take a prayer. And to do us the honors of a prayer, let's welcome the CEO of Gramophone Ghana, Professor Clement Appa. Please, let's put our hands together for him while he comes up. Thank you. Shall we pray? Our dear Lord and Master, we thank you for yet another opportunity to come and sit at your feet, to come and bask in your presence, to come and feast at your table. Our prayer is that you have your own way this evening, from beginning to the end. May every second that we spend here build us up for your glory. We pray for the singers. We pray for the instrumentalists. As your word says, let them play skillfully. And may it be that no one here will live the same. Those who are on their way, bring them safely. And Lord God, satiate our souls today with your, the fullness that you have purposed for us today. We thank you for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. A huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Professor Clement Appa. This year, Gramophone Ghana has been busy. Last year, I remember at the White Christmas edition of Fellowship of Songs, we took place at the Trinity United Church. It was an amazing experience. Uh, due to the issues we had in the protocol with COVID-19, we had a strictly online experience. And today is a hybrid of in-person and online. And if you are live with us or want to go live with us, please follow any of Gramophone Ghana's pages on Facebook or on YouTube. And please like, share, and comment as well as the event goes on. Tonight, if you want to get social with us, you can use the hashtag Gramophone Ghana or Gramophone White Christmas. Yes, the celebration of White Christmas today would again be a higher notch than we had anticipated from last year. This year, as I mentioned earlier, Gramophone Ghana has been busy and we've had Calvary's love uh, during Easter. And I remember notable also is Hymnody with Professor Yao Sechi Beidu, uh, a legend in music himself and also a professor of English. We hope that we'll have even more wonderful and awesome events coming up next year. And since you're here with us, it will be good to stick and stay and follow us. In my hand is a pledge form and I believe that all of us have received pledge forms uh, from the front desk. And while doing so, I just want to announce that there'll be times of collecting them uh, we anticipate that we'll have quite a lot to do next year. And for all these free events, we'll be happy to have some support come in periodically. And that's why we have given you these. We want you to have ample time to think through it. And as you're touched and led, please do fill them and let us have them. You can always take out the other part that has the account details to the left, the very small part, fold it and tear it apart so that you can keep that to remind yourself and just give us the other part in white. This is the Fellowship of Songs celebrated by Gramophone Ghana, and this is dubbed the White Christmas. If in case you need to use the washroom, please note that this is also a recording, a live recording for a studio purpose, and so we want to keep this place as sane and um, as quiet and as cool as possible. You can always go through the back and use the restrooms to my right in the corner to which I'm pointing at. God bless you for being here. And please, at this point, shall we please put our hands together as we welcome Gramophone Chorus.
Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for Gramophone Chorus. Coming up, ladies and gentlemen, is a sermonette to be delivered by the steward of Trinity United Church, Mrs. Vida Kwapong Akufu. The Lord. Praise the Lord. And another praise the Lord. Gramophone Chorus. Aiko, each year you surprise me, and I'm delighted that I can be part of this year's celebration as well. 
I'm also delighted that I was invited to give this sermonette. In fact, when PK initially told me, I thought, you can't be serious. And he said, oh, Auntie Baida, I am serious. I deem it a huge privilege and honor to be given this opportunity. And I expect and hope that as we sit and enjoy the music and read the lyrics on the screens and reflect on them, it will not just be another FOS that we've attended, but this time we will let it mean something else to us. We will allow God to speak to us in a special way through this ministration. The theme is get close to Jesus. Get close to Jesus. And it's my prayer that as we go through, God will speak to each one of us and give us reason to draw close to him. Amen. Life can be likened to a journey which begins when we are born and ends when we die. Now, all of us alive today, all of us in this room, are at various points in that journey. It started when we were born, and it will end when we die. Maybe for some of us that are still alive, it may end when Christ comes. That is if it happens before we die. And within this long journey, all of us are undertaking several mini journeys in this long journey of life. A lot of this of these mini journeys are made up of choices that we make. The Bible says that it is appointed unto man once to die after that judgment. My intention is not to, to spread fear and panic. I'm only reiterating what the good book has said. While on this journey, some of the choices we make will bring us good outcomes. Some of them may not. But one of the critical choices we all have to make, and I hope that all of us have made that choice, is to accept the free gift of salvation that God offers us through Jesus Christ. Which is why we even celebrate Christmas. Which is why we are even here today. At Christmas, we celebrate the giving of Christ to us through his incarnation. At another time of the year, we will celebrate his suffering, his death, and his resurrection as part of Easter and the associated activities. That was Jesus' earthly journey, which started from his birth. And then he died, and of course was resurrected, which is why we have hope. Now what does it mean to get close to Jesus? I presuppose that once we are being called to get close to Jesus, it means that we are in the vicinity of Jesus. It means that we are not very far away. We are within his reach. And yet we are called to get close to him. When we talk about two people being close to each other, sometimes they may even be married. And I dare say that not all married couples are close to each other. But I do trust that some of us here, maybe most of us here who are married, can say that we are close to each other. Now, people who are close know each other's likes and dislikes. They strive not to hurt each other. They want to be with each other as often as possible. Sometimes they can connect with each other even without words. And it could happen that they may be physically apart, but may be having similar thoughts because they are really close and they connect with each other at a, a different level. They celebrate their joys and their pains together. Our brothers and sisters in Gramophone are calling us to get close to Jesus. And I believe it's not just for today, or just for this Christmas season, but throughout our journeys on this earth. For me, being close to Jesus 
It's not just about being around him. It's not just about being, re- being within reach of him. It means a bit more than that. In fact, a lot more than that. It's about pulling myself so close to him that I can hear even when he whispers. Probably I can sense even when he hasn't said anything. It's about letting him be Lord of my life. Reading and studying his word, meditating on it and obeying it. And striving to do what pleases him. Getting close to Jesus, hearing him speak, feeling his presence and his touch, and experiencing his peace in my heart. And I hope that this will be the same for you as well when we talk about getting close to Jesus. Getting close to Jesus might mean letting go of certain things which we know could hurt him. It could mean making some choices which in the world's general standards or by the world's general standards may be quite weird or probably not on. But to truly respond to that call to get close to Jesus, we will need to let go of certain things. Our pride. Some pleasures. Some self-gratifying moments just for a closer walk with him. It means submitting to the Lord's will. James chapter 4, verse 7 and 8a says, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. I pray that all of us sitting here, and particularly gramophone, that you will not just sing these songs from your mouths, but you will actually sing them from your hearts. And you will not be just within reach of Christ, but you will be so close to him that even before you minister to us, you allow him to minister to you. That is when we'll be making a difference. It will be painful for me to get to heaven and see someone I have seen in this choir today not there or in a different place. But it is only in drawing close to God that we can enjoy those privileges of being in his presence and enjoying what we need to enjoy. Let us think about Lazarus and how Jesus loved him. Think about John, the disciple whom Jesus loved. What happened at the crucifixion? John was right there with him. Get close to Jesus. Get close to Jesus. Patsy Klein admitted that she was weak and acknowledged that Jesus is strong. She pleaded for a closer walk with God and that she would be satisfied as long as she walked and walked close to Jesus. I pray that this shall be your prayer and our desire to make the choice to get close to, walk with, and experience Jesus during the rest of our journeys. Thank you very much and God bless you.
Hello? Hello? Hello.
So the songwriter says, all along my pilgrim's journey, Savior, let me walk close to thee. Shall we please enter into a time of prayer? Will you let this songwriter's lyrics be your prayer as well? If you have the desire to walk close with Jesus, closely with him, to get close to him, then convert these words into your own and ask Jesus that all along life's journey, all through your pilgrimage on this earth, you want to walk close with him. It may be our desire to want to walk close, closely with Jesus, to get close to him. But maybe the many attractions of this life are keeping you back. There may be things in your life that are holding you back. Surrender them to him. If you really want to get close to Jesus, tell him to take off those things that keep you away those things that prevent you from getting close to him those things from life and the world that draw you away from getting close to him to toil and suffer gladly for him when we decide to get close to him we may experience some suffering we are likely to experience challenges but his faithfulness is sure and no matter what happens he will keep us as long as we hold on to him he will lead us through the veil of shadows he will bear us over life's fateful sea. Because it is that eternal gate that we all look forward to getting into, to walking through and rejoicing eternally with him. The attractions of this life are transient. They will pass away. If for any reason you've been around Jesus for a while, but you have not made a commitment to him, you have an opportunity to do so now, to submit your life to Christ and ask him to live in your life, to come and live in your heart and walk with you and give you the strength to walk with him as well. Lord and our master Jesus we thank you for today we thank you for this ministration unto us we thank you for your call for us to get close to you father we want to get close to you but for some of us the attractions of the world are too strong Lord help us for some of us our health makes it difficult for us to believe and trust you Father, show us mercy. For some of us, the challenges of life make us doubt your faithfulness. Father, be merciful to us. See us through all these challenges and these darknesses in our lives. All these valleys and pitfalls in our lives. And help us to walk closely with you. Help us to stay with you. 
Help us to, to desire to be in your presence and to walk with you and to be close to you so that we can hear you speak to us. We can encounter you in everything that we do. We thank you that you have given us one more chance to do this today. And if there are any here, Lord, who want to submit their lives to you, I pray that you shall accept them into your kingdom and let your love and your spirit fill their lives and give them newness of life and help them to walk with you all through this life's journey. We thank you that you are prayer answering God and you have heard us because we have prayed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's appreciate Mrs. Vida Kwapong Ekufu, please. And also we can do it better for gramophone chorus on stage. If you just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, this is Gramophone Ghana's Fellowship of Songs, and this is the White Christmas edition. Please, for those who joined us and do not know, and just in case anyone is lost, Gramophone Ghana is a music-based organization uh, with inclination to classical and choral music. Uh, out of that, we have the Gramophone Chorus, that is the choir, and as part of the organization's extensions, we have the Gramophone Ghana Academy of Music. And the Academy of Music, we would see them feature tonight. Uh, these are students who are learning music with the Academy. We will see them feature tonight with the Gramophone Chorus, uh, which is the choir. And that would be how we'll be going forward. Before we continue proceedings tonight, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick run through the pledge cards that you picked up from the front desk while you're registering. And this is to share just the modalities with you quickly. Just as you would see, you would have the account details to the left portion that is shaded slightly white, um, less white than the actual white page. The longer white page would require your details, which you would give to us, and you can tear out the part that has details on how you're going to make your donations or your pledges. The accounts are on your screen at the moment as we speak. Uh, in a short while, we'll come back around, and I'll take, or together with the stewards, we'll take these pledge cards. Please feel free to still consider your options and do us the honors and a favor of donating to a course so we can have many more free concerts coming 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, let me bore you no further. Please, let's welcome back Gramophone Chorus. Singing glory, 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 hallelujah. Singing glory to the 
gramophone. For the love of Jesus. So, about nine years ago, a young man's dream to establish a musical organization birthed this beautiful choir. And today is his birthday, so we decided to celebrate him and surprise him. So, he doesn't know about this. He thought he was going to conduct another song, but we surprised him. Um, we'd want to call his wife, Doc, Dr. Mrs. Asamwajibi, to join him as they cut the cake. And then, coincidentally, one of our members' mother's birthday is today. So if Mrs. Grace Beidu is here, please join him to cut the cake. Mrs. Grace Beidu, mother of Felix. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so we say, happy birthday to Theophil once again. We're going to call Professor Apa Asiyo to say a word of prayer for the birthday celebrants and their families. Gramophone. Gramophone. Theo. Um, yeah, I'm going to ask you to sing a verse. He will choose a verse from the uh, closer to you, the hymn that you sang. He will choose any verse from it and he will sing before I pray for him. the thing that is on God's heart it's not just the number of years we spend here on earth but how closely we are walking with him so to you I pray that that shall be your portion that every day of your life you draw closer to him that when you don't know what to do you shall find direction because you'll be close, walking closely with him. I pray that his hand shall be strong upon you. That he will engulf you with his presence. In the name of Jesus, may it be that whatever he has called you to do here on earth, you will fulfill them all. And when you stand before him, Someday you will have no regret because you would have been exhausted fully for him, completely discharged for him. May his hand be strong upon you. In the name of Jesus, we call this done. Amen.
Thank you, Professor Apa. At this point, music continues, and uh, now he's going to conduct what he thought he was going to conduct earlier. Happy birthday to you, Theophil. We are grateful for you. Quick one here would be that we'll come now round to collect the pledge forms while you enjoy the next song. But please, if you do not have them and you still want to pledge, you could put up your hand up and we'll get you sorted out. Thank you.
shall we be on our feet as we join in to praise the Lord.
Haribo, 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 Haribo,
Let's give it up for Gramophone Chorus. As I mentioned earlier, as the program progresses, we would have the Gramophone Ghana Academy of Music. Uh, students of the Gramophone Ghana Academy of Music have a feature with Gramophone Chorus. But before that, let's have some announcements from Dedo Nyako, please. Shall we please put it up for her? Good evening, people of God. I'm very pleased to speak to you about Gramophone Ghana Academy of Music. Gramophone Ghana Academy of Music is a music program. We have various instruments that we teach out there. So we do, we offer theoretical and practical music training. We teach a wide range of instruments. Our most popular one is piano. But we also have a bow string instruments program. So we teach the violin, the viola, cello, and many more in that class of instruments. We also teach guitar, bass guitar, lead guitar, acoustic, saxophone, drums, name it, we can teach it. 
We're very excited about two new programs we are rolling out in January. The first is the voice program. We've had endless requests for that and we are very pleased that we can finally oblige. And the second is the traditional and local music and dance program. So for the music, we'll be teaching Atentebe, Congas, Tamalin, Xylophone, and a wide range of traditional instruments. With dance, we'll be teaching traditional dance rhythm and movements. Okay, Agbajak, Panlogo, Adoa, not the ones we do in church that we think are right. The actual dances will be taught. All right, our contact details have been projected in the flyers. We have flyers outside as well. You can pick one up. This evening, I'm very pleased to welcome a section of our students, the bowstringed instrument team. They will be ministering to us this evening. A pretty good number of them have been on this instrument for less than a year, some slightly over a year, a few of them going up to two years. So it's sort of a mixed multitude. And for most of them, this is the first time they are ministering before a crowd this big. You see the ages are very varied. So please smile at us. We are very pleased to be here. Smile at us and be blessed by this ministration. Thank you very much. Hello. Yes, let's continue to give it up for students of the Gramophone Ghana Academy of Music. And thank you, Dedo Nyako.
Ladies and gentlemen, please let's appreciate the cross section of students from the Gramophone Ghana Academy of Music. It is still the White Christmas edition of the Fellowship of Songs by Gramophone Ghana. At this point, please help me welcome the Lady Pamela Corte, yes, who does the honors of the vote of thanks. Shall we please appreciate her? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are really, really, really happy to have you here. Um, this is the first time we are meeting since the, um, the COVID restrictions were lifted. So it's been quite a while since we had a Christmas FOS with our audience. And we want to say thank you so much. Indeed, we are honored to have you here. And we say God bless you richly. Um, here to give the vote of thanks and first of all we want to thank the almighty God for making it possible for us to have this event it's been a few weeks of um, rehearsal quite um, tiring rehearsal and the choir has done really well we want to give all the thanks and praise to God for what he has done for us and also we want to thank LIC for allowing us to use their sanctuary for this event we say God bless you thank you so much we are really appreciative and to our MC Mr. Atu Abasa thank you so much for MC in this edition of our Christmas FOS we really really appreciate it we want to say a big thank you to our service providers so we have sound projection and live stream by the LIC team led by Mr. Frank L.A. Blue we have video by Excelsis, photography by Ralph Photography, light by Jobo Light and Set, decor by Imi Events, and for the beautiful cake that we cut. We want to say thank you to some Chosy Foods. Um, thank you so much for the delectable cake you made for artistic director. Some Chosy's in the audience. Some Chosy give us a wave. Yeah, please contact her for your local bar services. Um, she's into bottled juices, food, both packed and buffet, cakes, food baskets, stews and soups for homes. And her number is 0200232565. You can contact her after the event and, and place an order. Thank you very much. So... To our ashes, we want to say God bless you for welcoming our guests and making them feel comfortable. We really appreciate you being a part of this. And we want to say a big thank you to the choir and to their relatives, spouses, partners, parents, grandparents, children. Thank you so much for bearing with us um, all night rehearsals and all. We want to say thank you, God bless you. And to management and the various teams, you've done so well. You've done really, really well. Artistic, finance, events, operations, publicity, executives, God bless you all for um, coming together to put this FOS together. And a special thank you to our speaker, Mrs. Vida Kwapon Ikufu. God richly bless you for your sermon. We really, really appreciate it. And we'll try hard to get close to God even as we minister to others. And um, also, also, before I forget, we've been wearing these robes for the past almost nine years. And these robes were made by Mr. Nati. And we want to say thank you so much, Mr. Nati. This is one of the biggest investments for Gramophone, making these robes. And for nine years, we have been wearing them for weddings, for FOS, for everything, and they still look brand new. Thank you so much, Mr. Nati. We are appreciative of this. And to our guest instrumentalists, thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. So... Before I hand over the mic, please do well to follow us on all our social media handles on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and our latest addition, that's TikTok. This is to help us share snippets of our ministration with family and friends. So if you haven't followed us on TikTok, please take out your phone, go to Gramophone Ghana on TikTok and follow us. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, Buon Natale. We look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.
A huge round of applause for yourselves as well. You've all been amazing tonight. I like the shouts that I'm hearing. You can do that too if you want to. Fantastic. Thank you for being here, as already mentioned by Pamela Corte. And this has been the Fellowship of Songs. And this is the special White Christmas edition of Fellowship of Songs brought to you by Gramophone Ghana here at the Ligon Interdenominational Church. Going for ladies and gentlemen, would have some chance of hallelujah even at the end. But before that, no. That next week on Saturday, the 17th of December, the Gramophone Ghana Academy of Music would have their concert, their own specially dedicated concert at the Silverbird Cinema at Accra Mall. So please just look out for more information. Oh, we are sorry. Just look out for more information right there so that you can join them from 5 p.m. next week. Yes, on 17th, from 3 p.m. actually, at the Silver Bird Cinema at the Accra Mall. So please do not forget. My name is Atwaba, and it's been such a pleasure. Uh, but before we end, we want to have a prayer and a benediction by none other but the very Reverend Professor Kwabna Asamwajedu, please. I remember seeing him earlier. Oh, there he is. Please, let's appreciate him while he comes. Papa is not in his usual front row seat here, so it's hard to identify. Oh, but you can do it better. Also, let me say a very big thank you to very Reverend Professor Samuel Jedu. He's been a blessing every time I have to call him at this time of the moment to ask him to pray for us. God bless you. Shall we stand for prayer, please? Let us pray. God, our Father, we want to return to you thanks and praise, honor and adoration belong to you. You have been with us from the beginning of this program. For those who travel from various places around Accra, you brought us safely. We want to thank you for the joy of Christmas that we have received at this program and we trust that that joy will continue in our hearts and lives. Graciously, Lord, let your Holy Spirit enable us to walk close to you. That is your desire. You want to enfold us in the arms of your love. And it's just a privilege to be called children of the Most High God. And so we pray that this Christmas will be different. We know that things are tough economically, socially for some people, even in terms of health as we try to recover from the afflictions of covid but it is when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death that we'll experience your presence. Your name is Emmanuel. So we are grateful to you that you are with us in the ups and downs of life. Bless everyone who came. Bless the work of our hands. May we do well. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you bless our food and water this Christmas. That it be a time of celebration and joy in your presence Bless our families, O oh God, and give us testimonies that are strong. I want to thank you for Gramophone Chorus. I want to thank you that every time, Lord, we join FOS, we are blessed. And we trust that you're going to increase them and increase their ministry. That there will be a blessing and instruments in your hands. That they will be sources of grace for all people. I want to thank you for tonight and pray that as we leave this place, your presence will go with us. Give us a blessed week and may the Christmas ahead of us be such a blessing. Unto God's mercy and protection we commend you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God lift up the light of his countenance upon you. May he give you his peace. May God grant you the desires of your heart that are in keeping with his will. May you know God's goodness and mercy in your lives. Go in peace. And the blessing of God Almighty be with you. Amen. Thank you. On behalf of Gramophone Ghana, we wish you all a Merry Christmas. Now the turn of Gramophone Chorus with the Academy Bow Ensemble.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fellowship of Songs has come to an end. Thank you all for coming, and one more time, Merry Christmas.